hi guys, Ali from JW Ventures back again. Uh, working on the Civic again, uh, just doing little minor stuff today to make the car a bit more livable. First things first is like get this battery hold secure. Bought a lot of new sets, so that will little cheapo off eBay. That will do me right. So we're just going to take this out, jiggle it about. Done it now. Uh, push it down and turn. There we go. Fun times. Yeah. Once again, just going to keep it as I'll change that later on. A bit more of a thing. So we've got the shiny new bits. So J claws, are these are called. Something I didn't know existed. So just going to pop them down there. So what I'll do is, if I turn the camera a bit down, right there we go. I'll take that off. J hook is in. Put the rubber grommet on. Put the top bit on. Yeah, I think you're right, man. Let's have the rubber, rubber grommet there. Well, that's the thing. Well. Should have done. Just put both sides in. Does that even clear the bonnet? What? Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Shit. <laughs> Why has to put them down? Cut. Yeah. So you might have to fit them and then cut them. Brilliant. Fun times. And I've got all the rush on. Uh, did realise after he said it. I looked at the bonnet and I was like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll just cut the tops off. Spindles on. I haven't seen some of these spindles in ages. <clears throat> Put that down there. Six. Yeah, I'll put it sideways. So that's not that spindle you're going to go on. Down we go. Battery's now secure. I have to go get the angle ground out of the shit. Oh god. That's like smelly smelly man. Down there somewhere. Uh let's have a quick look where it's got falling. Okay. Um I'll get it with a magnet. Yeah, we'll get that with a magnet, so choppity chopped. That's all done. Alright, on to the next issue. Trying to work out what we're to do next. Short shifter, bushes, drop link, spoiler strut, tweeters, and battery hold. Battery hold is done. Thinking probably do. I'll do the side lights. Yeah, I'll get the side lights out and I'll converge in a bit. Alright, guys, these are the side lights. So, they're sort of Aldi style as well. So, sequential. So, I'll take rid of the orange. I kind of like the orange at the same time. I don't know why I'm going to go white. Yeah, so the. Yeah, so side repeaters, they're going to go clear and they'll go fully LED. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's just a matter of pulling, isn't it? You might like, slide from one side, sometimes they slide a little bit. Yeah. Man, like the panel, like you just properly easily dent the wings. <laughs> Alright. See if I can. 
Cool. Do you need my trim tool remover? How'd you get out? Push it back and then pull. So if you look down the one side, there's like a little cut out. Cut it out, isn't it? Like a little... So, actually, that side is like a little dent. Oh, okay, yeah, just in that you little dent. just push dent. that in there. Ah, fun times. There you go. Cool. Yeah, I was trying to work it out. Ooh, years of grime on that one. Okay, now what you do, leave the finger in, innit? I've just realised. You just gotta unscrew that, dude. Oh, okay, you've done the full. No, no. <laughs> so you leave it in. So you take that one out. And this one, I think you just plugs, into plugs, plugs into the bulb. Eh? Pull that little bulb out. Obviously, the problem is, I don't know which side polarity is. I don't think it matters. I'll give it a whirl, innit? Um, it'll only, it'll only go, um, oh, I'll put this. Uh, yeah. Okay, I thought they were sequential, but not end of the world. As I've seen. Um, so then we've got to put uh, the holder bit into the trim bit. So there's a little notch. Oh my god, you have to touch that wire right in. Okay. Twisty clockwise. Cool. Twisty clockwise. Put that in there. Huh? Oh yeah, put the clip in. So what you want to do is put the clip in first that way. Then push back. Okay, happy days. That's the end look, anyway. Don't know if it'll come out on camera given the lighting. That's nice. Cleaned it up nicely. Sure, that's another job done. So back to fun time builds. Um, so on the on the OME ones, there's a left and a right side. So I don't know if you can see it. It says left and that's right. And obviously, looking at the lug pattern, it's different. So one, two, three, there. Then it has a different, as the opposite, another one. Where if you look on the aftermarket ones, they're both the same one. So I've got two left. So that was a total waste of time. So I'll have to send these back as back as well. Uh, yeah, because you need one for the left side and the right side. So they'll be going back. An accessible mod, but hey ho, you live and learn. So they'll go back, not a problem. So right, short shifter kits. So I've got the bushes for the new shifter. Okay, uh, so they'll go in. <clears throat> then along with that, I've got the new short shifter kit. So that's that. So this is uh, 15 quid off eBay shipped. So you get that the bushes were another like, I think they were 18 quid. And obviously the short shifter comes, comes with these metal sleeves as well. When you change it, obviously this is a bit more work. But obviously the day-to-day -day life of using a short shifter will make my shifting longer. Because at the moment it feels like I'm shifting a truck. And I'm like having to like I'm engaging the the throttle and the clutch too quick, so then probably spinning up the clutch, probably wearing out the clutch more. Um, so what we'll probably have to do is now jack up the car. Uh, it's gonna be a simple thing. I'll probably start taking the center console trims apart to get to it, and um, sort of take it from there. Jack up the car to sort of get to the short shifter. Got 14 mil and what you said, 12 mil, just in case. Time to go underneath, the fun times begin. Ugh. Feel like you shouldn't have jacked it up a bit more. Which way are you going, bro? I'm hearing it. Uh, uh, I think it was do. Okay, gearbox linkages here. So I need to undo that bolt. There. I can see it. Well, probably see it so hang on. Yeah, 
Yeah, there we go. There is a gear box linkage. Undo them two bolts. I'll find the red light. Yeah. Them two bolts there. Obviously, naturally, that just goes into the cabin. One bolt from there. Yeah. Cool. I think I need to jack the car up a bit more so the other side will be done. So, right, guys, back underneath the car again. Um, so, you're going to need two 12 mils. Um, there's not much light here, so I'll give you a sec. Go grab the phone light. Yeah. So what I've had to do, because it's not on a bolt, two 12 mils. And obviously pull back from there, and that will get it undone. And then once that's dropped, uh, that'll drop out. And then do them two bolts there. Other sides, um, and then get it out. Then, then we'll start ripping the interior. Out. Cool. So I've undone the bolt. It's a twelve mil bolt, uh, spanner on one side, ratchet on the other one to sort of take it off, do what it needs to do. So that's done. No. What was it? What do you say? That's twelve mil. Yeah, that's twelve. Problem is such an awkward spot. So I bought it there guys, I don't know if you can see it in the dark, about here-ish, 10 mil bolt, uh, I'll take that out. Um. Alright guys, gone into the Civic, so two screws there, another one here to undo the gear, gear trim piece, another two there on the side, uh, them two we're going to take out. Um, Took out that that one. Is that the only two screws you took out? Yeah. So there was there's three on each side. I think there's <laughs> two here, one here, and two. that's it. And then I just yep. took the thing out so we didn't pull the plug. Two oh yeah, I was gonna say and it pulled the plug out. Probably gonna take this stuff out anyway because so I've got the armrest. Cool. Take that up. Oh years and years Price of down. dust. Hang on, where is it? Years and years of filth. Do, do, do. Race car spec now. That's it. Do, do, do. Roll cage in. Rolly cage. I mean, it's going to be a daily, not a track monster yet. Got to sort out all the faff. Yeah, screwdrivers, yeah, for those screws on that side. Mm. That's all the normal Phillips screwdrivers to do that stuff. So that trim. <laughs> Shall I do the other bits as well then? Yeah, just those two screws and then that should come out. Cool, let's do undo that. As I say, we need to get those two bolts out for the for linkage. Well, I can't be honest. I'm going to go Okay, cool. Fun times. To be fair, just looking at the mats, the black, these black mats just liven up the whole interior. Yeah, it does. It's fine. It did part me thinking it because that guy on YouTube that um he took all the carpet out of the car. Cleaned it all, then dyed it black. Probably like zip tying it. Cool. That one's done. Nah, it's probably. I'll put the bolt back in. What do you mean? Because it's. Not gonna come out altogether. There we go. Fun times. Screws there. See what I mean? It's gonna have to come out. What is? What's happened? Because to get this over there, yeah, so you need to take the knob off. Oh yeah, we haven't done that. So I might have to put the bolt back in so we can understand. All right, there's a, well, there's an, uh, an error. Then next time, leave the gear glitch on in, and then take the gear knob just off. Just like the bolt in. And then so, yeah, the bolt's down there anyway. Oh, for number one, it's starting to rain now. Cool. Is it? Oh, that's what she said. 
I'm just laughing at the fact the gay box moving. <laughs> what? Yeah, what? Yeah, Alright, cool. Well, that was the thing, innit? I ordered that one, the smoked one that I showed you. Yeah. Because it was scratch, I had to send it back and order another one. I was hoping it arrived this weekend, but didn't. Nah, it's off now, dude, innit? Oh, okay. Cool. <clears throat> Cool. So then we can sort of take this on to cancel out. Chuck down the back seats. Yeah. And then should be two to be fair, the shifter boots in good condition. Mind that little tiny little hole, which is a uh, uh -huh. kind of annoying me. So you know you're going to take the two bolts off at the bottom. Yeah. These are they should sort of be attached, but they're not. So we might have to get a pair of mole grips in. You might have to hold the mole grips uh -huh. on this end, and I'll have to undo it at the bottom. If that makes sense. Oh, okay. Because it should have like... I thought there were screws, so I've looked in like, they, other videos as well. People yeah, they should that. ideally be like tacked on, like a little weld. Mm. Um, but you probably could take them out and nut and bolt them anyway. Mm. But... I don't understand that. How do you get rust in the cabin? Yeah. What you're saying, just hold them bits. Yeah, hold them with the, with the more grips and then I'll go underneath and turn. I guess that's, that was the reason why they wouldn't move in it. Yeah, because they were just spinning when you were turning. Yeah. What are you thinking? Can't, can't we just change the bolts ourselves later on? You could do. Like I say, you could just change it to a nut and bolt. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Are you gonna, are you gonna have the nut and bolt, so? I will share. Yeah, because I think that's a better solution, isn't it? So, if I script it on, so we, it won't move. Yeah. This is where Callum breaks my wrist. Do I just go against you? Is it I think it's come undone now, isn't it? Right, second bolt has been undone. It's going to take the short, uh, the actual shifter out now. And um, take it from there. Ah, that's a bit of pain, like I said, just, I guess what it is, the moisture and stuff, and obviously poor galvanised metal in it yeah. over the years. Yeah, well, that's it anyway, that's it. Mm -hmm. Fun times, the old owner had white hair. <laughs> they just gone white. Fun times. I've all got... Let's have a look at the shifter. Is that the new one that you're putting out? This is the old one. Let's have a quick look in. Oh. That's the old shifter. Fun times. We're bunging the new one. The new one's here just here, dude. Um, it's here. Oh. Similar thing, we're like planning to short a throw in it. Yeah. Well just a Rather few. Just a bush. Because this is this is just plainly a bush and then that side's got that yeah, that's that actually one's... two bearings, it's one each side. Yeah, one each side and then yeah. like I said in that's just like a hole in it. That's pretty cool. You need to take that off to put on that yeah. one. Yeah. Well, that's the new bush, isn't it, underneath the car? Okay. And then that one goes inside, you know, where, they, where we mounted it in. Okay. We have to chuck them bitches, bits in. That make life a little bit easier. Do, 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 do. So I was worried about ordering new ones, but obviously they haven't really perished. No, and I've, as I say, I've got some proper grease in the, in the old shed of wonders. Probably easy with the wheel leaf for it then. Strong enough. Yeah, it's the old piece. So, does it any feel any light? That's that's quite heavy. Oh, that's lighter? Oh, wow. That's got some weight to it. That's so much more lighter. Look at hold that. <laughs> it doesn't weigh anything. If only they made the car, if they made this car this heavy, then it wouldn't go, really go anywhere at all. Okay, JDM life, that's been, that's been retired. 
just remember the scene from Ace Ventura in it. <laughs> it's giving birth to a new rhino. <laughs> Mom, Dad. Yeah. I noticed they gave these as well. Yeah, so I think they got on the on the nuts at the bottom because there was a couple of little washers on the the yeah. nuts on the bottom, but we'll see. Yeah, we'll figure it out. That's, cool. That's been mounted on. Is that complicated really? Well, everything's like been not and bolt so far, isn't it? So you'll thread that through. I'm being really weak. I didn't have a weight fix this morning. Yeah. Should I said, dude, we're bought a Mackey's down with us. <laughs> I'll be you? honest, before I met you, I only rolled out of bed five minutes before. I was going to say, man. Oh, no, dude, I like, on, the, on the weekends, I only roll out about what? Half ten. I was I was really tired this morning. Now I do the same as I was. I slept like a <laughs> slept like a giddy. I was like, after well, after all the work on the car yesterday in the faff. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some grease in there anyway. So yeah. So it's a little bit better. Cool. I'll let you do the greasing then. Now I'll sort of work out whether the bushes and stuff. Just saying that I'll probably sort of work on the centre console as well. So we got yeah, that. Like yeah, six screws. So I'll take that off and I'll put my JDM spec. <laughs> Um, so what I've bought, uh, off the old, well, the current owner who's meant to margin and stuff, he actually bought this. So this is quite cool to be fair. Um, if I run you through it. So you got it here, you push there, and uh, the cup holders pop up. Obviously you still retain like all the cubby holes and stuff. You can get the ones that have the cup holders there. But I decided against that because I saw this and I just thought it's just so cool. I want that. So that will come out a couple of screws there. So I'll screw that in. Um, move all this tap. I've got here. Ugh, WD-40. Um, chuck this bag out of here. Plunk that there. Getting up down there. Take my bag out here. Uh, take my breakfast. Cool. Alright. So yeah, very simple. Get the screws going out. Obviously naturally we can use these screws for the new one. Right, that can bung out. Now for there's so much room. <laughs> So much room, man. No. Even if you just took that out and put a blanket back there. I'm just trying to jam grease in the hole. Just get it get Cool. Bolt in, bolt out. JDM spec. To be fair, another bolt over here. That when I'm always bolting something up, like this when I was work, working on watches, where you do one side first and then do the other side, yeah. sort of even it out. How much you put on, man? <laughs> Mate, you look like you're gonna give me a Sunday, Mr. Whippy, with that, with the amount of grease you put on that. Get in there as much as you can, and then everything's out. Yeah, underneath that gearling because you need to take out the the bushes in it first before we put that back in. Yeah. So let's test fit. Oh, yeah, oh, no. you got them, J them JD8 spec. Oh, yeah, obviously, when I put the new stereo and I've downloaded like load of JDM music, so it sounds like I'm drifting. <laughs> So that's what I'm going to play in it when I roll out, but I'm going to run with JDM, uh, run DMC at the moment. Cool. Obviously, that's one update. I just love it. <laughs> that is, to be fair. No, not even my car's got this thing. So what I'll probably do, because that's kind of annoying me, like the scratches and stuff. So I'll buy a, um, you know, a non-slip mat, cut it, and just shove it in. Uh, same thing, and then I'll probably do that at the same time. Like when you put your phone there, and I'm going full non VTEC mode, but put added in the VTEC. If you chuck that down there, the phone will just chill. When you're doing the VTEC shift with your new phone. Yeah. Part of me is thinking, dude, like you could possibly 
I don't know if that comes out in it. Make it like a wireless charging pad. Yeah, you probably could. Maybe a wireless charging pad. Um, yeah, because obviously you can have the, to be fair, I ain't, probably ain't going to use need a wireless charging pad. Got the wire here for USB, then I'm going to have the, obviously later on, later on, is have Apple CarPlay in the car. So for me, using the phone is purely on phone calls, and that probably won't drain the phone anyway. It's just the fact that I probably, t well, probably doubt I'll take this car on long journeys. Um, because I can't be asked for the car without cruise control. I've, um, I've become lazy in Eurospec. But fun times indeed. That's all lined up. That's happy chappy. That's not going anywhere. It's just funny how cheap the handbrake looks now. Um, then I'll roll out the other thing I've got to get from the from the boot. So that's done. Let's put that. Oh, put that there. And then I bought some other bits. Uh, so this is the new Santa console. So I'll put it down. That's the new sort of centre console. So a little cubby still for the for the phone, and obviously open it. Full, hey mate, it's full JDM spec, and I believe this is the other. I think this is the new mounting point. Now, see it being full JDM, I've got some JDM newspaper. Let's see what's on here. A full JDM spec. I've got these random women newspaper thing. I've no idea. I'm trying to work out what it is. Is it teeth whitening? Possibly, but knowing the Japanese, it probably had the toys in something that's not in the picture. God no. Hey, Cal, what do you think this mounts then? Is that the? Um bottom of the cage behind the gear stick. No, this is like from down here. Because this is for the... Is it not that bit there? No, oh, okay. No, it different. No, no, it holds different. So you'd take that bracket, that bracket would come off for the handbrake and those two bolts would go through those holes there. Oh, okay. So you'd have to take those two tendons out there, they're just holding the handbrake cables in place. Okay, fine. We'll just have to rebolt. Yeah, that's fine. Then we'll have to just do that. 10 or 12 mils or whatever. Cool. Sorted. Nice job, didn't it? We'll do that now. Yeah. Right, we can go. Just try and work it out what, what we have to do there. Fun times. And obviously, part of me is thinking later on, because these slots are kind of perfect. Retro fit some heated seats. So um, they'll fit in that and I'll dremel through that and get it going. Yeah, so just going to... Well, so you said 10 mil? Yeah, 12 mil. Oh, 12 mil. I guess that's supposed to be uh, on this car, it's going to be 10 and 12. 10, and 12, 14. Yeah. And then the your rows are all like 10s, 11s, 13s, 13s, 17s, Yeah. <clears throat> torques, mostly torques on your row stuff. Yeah. Depending on obviously that. Do think of is the handbrake is on the car, it's on the slope. Yeah. So what we'll have to do is hopefully just be able to slide it under. But which way around does it go? I think the longer one goes at the top, and if you look at the shape of that, you now I have ovals, and that one's a little smaller. Failing this, we'll have to. Try yeah, I think. Car if... up yeah, I think you're right. And just shove it underneath, isn't it? Just the way it looks as well, you know, like the cutting points in the carpet. Yeah. It's kind of made for it. Doesn't fit the carpet very well. No. It's like we might have to. Well, I was, was going to say I was going to cut bit. the carpet and get a Stanley blade. Right, I'll go grab a Stanley blade then. Yeah, so what I've done is cut this bit of carpet there on the side. So that's been chopped out. So what I've just done, because there's sort of some pre holes here. Anyway. Just use a Stanley blade, uh, sort of cutaway stuff. So yeah, it's sort of been easy. That bit's cut out. That allow flush fit back there and stuff. I'm not really fussed about cutting the carpet because you're not going to see it. But that should be fine. So I'll cut that away now. So I pushed it back, cut a bit more off. Another another piece off. And so 
I think you need to probably need to cut a bit more on it. I, th I think the, on the carpet front, it's just that edge there. Yeah. So, I mean, we could just do that. Okay. I say just tuck it underneath in it. Yeah. Um, and uh, let's just cut it, dude. Just looking in it. So do you however you want to do it. Yeah, I'll we cut a bit. Set the handbrake off though. To How do you mean? Um, move that bracket back a bit. Handbrake off. Yeah. What? Take the do these from there. No. no. Well, we can. We can do it that way. It's just obviously the, the holes aren't lining up properly, so we'll just have to wiggle it around a bit. We'll, we'll I think. It's, I think it's just. Bit. I think it's just a carpet, dude. So if I just cut along here, that will allow it to fit. Yeah, I'll just do that, dude. If you push that back, we'll get cut in again. That'll do us right. All right. So what you've done, I've trimmed, trimmed the rest of it. And that's the rest of it. it. Looks like I'm being cleaned up my house, uh, in the loft. So yeah, what we've done, and slackened the, the handbrake at the moment, put the handbrake down. And obviously managed the bolts to line up now. So we'll just put the 10mm 10, 10 back in. And that's it then, really. And then we'll put the new the new armrest in. Obviously, being a tool that I am, totally forgot about the, the light switch. So I've reinstalled that in the MT gap. And um, when I do retrofit the heated seats, what I'll probably do these top blanking bits so one button will be there and one button will be there and then I'll have to think of another place to get a, a random dumb button for something here like a nozzle or something <laughs> red flick switch might just flick the switch and then yeah and then nothing happens <laughs> like, didn't oh, oh, yeah, under glove it's 2001 again need to speed start a car that's it and then my, my rear spoiler goes up and it goes into high downforce mode yeah but yeah, the battery's dying on this camera as well, so I'll probably have to switch to the other ones as well. Yeah, so what we've had to do is um, we put it the wrong way around. So we've turned it back around. And um, when we lined up the, uh, the armrest, so we've just turned it around. So then now it'll fit with flush and everything else. That's why you should always test fit for everything when you before you fully tightened it. Yeah, definitely. You do the handbrake tension up. So we'll just go until it's on like four clicks, right, and then locked out. Okay. That's where about it should be. Obviously, you don't want to go too much because then it actually like locks up on the drums. Oh, cool days. Happy days. Um, I guess we'll get back to doing the the gearbox in it. Yeah, we'll do that. We need, so we need to get underneath the car and do the bushes in it. No, it's just probably the cigarette, not the cigarette clips for the the cupboard and stuff. They're all, they're all in, dude. Cool. I didn't realise basically that's interchangeable. That's how they do it right. at the factory. So I guess that'll be I guess that'll be one unit, and the, the whatever spec someone spec someone would have just screwed in them bits because that's that's just a tray. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I get, like I said, unit just in time production, and just yeah. keeping it simple. Okay, <clears throat> Come round. We need to find new bolts, didn't we? Huh? We need to find new bolts. Yeah. Well, if not, because that's the thing, though, at the same time, does it really matter because you're just going to go back in the you car? You can reuse them. There's no problem with it. It's just obviously you just need an extra pair of hands, one person inside to do that again. Well, that's the thing, are we going to be ever in the car again to do that? I don't think once it's in. Well, that's the thing, once it's in, it's in. Yeah. So well, I will leave What I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab some Loctite. Yeah. Just in case they ever do come loose. You, know, you never know. Oh, cool. <laughs> Changing it. What? Especially like if you know what's gone wrong and then you're on the motorway and you're trying to. Like fix it, two pairs of hands which you could probably use. Yeah, yeah. Right, underneath the car you gotta go and get the two bushes for the uh, for the gearbox linkage. So I'm gonna if I jump down again now. Ugh. So we are um so this linkage bit here, that's going to come out, that bit here, 
Oh iya. So, that bush over here. So we need to underdo that one. I did that one just here for the other bush. Um, so that will go in there. That will sort that. We'll get going. Yeah, Callum. So I've just realised we need to take the other side of the massive linkage out. Yeah, the other bush is there. And obviously, then if you pass me a ratchet for this. Uh, I think, yeah, I think it's 12 is bigger. No, undo that bracket. As well, I think. So, uh, now I do. I need the other type. The yeah, so the extension socket because that's a flat one. Uh, so yeah, so just here. Uh, cool. So twelve. You said twelve minute. Yeah, that's twelve now. Perfect. Hang on. Have you got another extension? Just do the that's one bolt out here. Then I've got the other bolt there on the other side. Mm. Obviously that had to be an awkward one in it. If it's uh, spinning the whole foot, uh, you can put the other bolt in. No, I think I got it. Yeah. Right, let's wiggle. Hang on, we'll just wiggle that bush out when we've got the other bit off. Um, I guess I'll slide straight down that car. Oh, it's a bit awkward. The axle stands there as well. Yeah, it might be easier just to go under the engine, mate. Yeah, go under the engine, mate. Oh. Don't hit myself on the door. Don't do what I did. Um, and break my phone as well. You might have to use the spanner. Yeah, I was about to say, you probably need yeah, a spanner. I don't think there's much room down there, so that's too far. One of them, I think, is actually like a welded bolt in there. So I think okay. there's a nut you'll have to turn. The uh -huh. spanner's there. I was going to say at some point, dude, have you got any brake cleaner? No, not really. Oh, okay. Do I like what still oil mess? Yeah, because I'm touching it and it's wet, like crumb oil. I mean, let's go to a cheap, one of those cheap um, car washes and just like get a little bit down there. No, I was just wondering, dude, because well, this was the, that was the, was this gearbox one? Was that the gear? What would this one be? Where is it? Just here. It, it could still be obviously when the oil filter is that the oil no that's the oil isn't it? yeah so i cleaned all this look at the car what it is and it could be from the oil filter though oh, see that's, know, the, that's, you know, that's the gearbox that's the gearbox oil, oil. filter drained then like when it drains it sits on top of the engine there and it's tight enough so it shouldn't be and it's dry under the oil filter so why is it all this around here? It's weird that it's above. Because obviously that, this is the gearbox or That's the gearbox and that's the oil in it. Yeah. Um, so I'll I'll make sure, off. So make sure, I made sure I wiped it all down but yesterday. We'll wipe it off again. Um, mm. when, it's on the, when we've got everything sorted and we'll run it while it's up in the air. Mm. And we'll keep an eye on it, but I'll double check that sump plug as well. Yeah. But the oil filter seems dry. Oh, okay. No, I just saw it, and I was like, that's a bit unusual. I made sure everything wiped anything down in it, for this exact reason. Mm. Oil filter seems like tight and dry, so it doesn't keep I think I did check the oil level in the morning, and it was fine as well. It's weird that it's above, though. Above? It's like, when it leaks, like, say if it was coming from the sump plug, it would only be this area here, but there's a little bit on top. Yeah. So I don't know if it's just like it got wiped there. Mm. Well, like I said, you know, we'll get a new rag or some tissues and just wipe it down. Yeah, we'll wipe it off. And then, and then a little bit when it's running. <clears throat> and we'll just watch it. Okay, so that's the cat. Oh, the gearbox looking as you know. 
Okay, it's that one, yeah. So yeah, dude, I need the the two ratchets. So what mill are these are? 212s, isn't it? Yeah. Right, let's get linkages in the way, man. Wait there, you know the lever, the arm? Yeah. Can you push it forward or back? Like, so it engages the gear? Um, I don't know, dude. Yeah, let me get under there. Oh, I'm sorry. Because if this... There you go. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Oh, okay, that makes it fully sense now. Oh, okay, see what you mean now about the whole thing, innit? Yeah. Looks like it's coming from up. Alright, let's take this. And I've got a bit of dusting wires. Oh, fun times. Come with the knees that go. Oh, oh fun times. To be fair, just looking at the bolts as well. They're in good nick. Plate will come off as well, innit? Yeah. Hold on for that. Oh, okay, it doesn't look that bad. It looked really perish when I was yeah. underneath the car. So, yeah. Get the new bushes. I've seen some people where you have to, like, crimp that a bit and then pull oh, it really? back out. I beg to differ. How long is that now, mate? So, was it that way? Was it that way? Oh. Yeah, no, the other way around. Right? Well, you it can turn it around, around, you go around there. So what I would do is it's kind of going to prove the internet wrong. <laughs> not with that one in my hand, I'm not. It is tough, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I think mean, they just done it to make their lives easier, innit? Yeah, it probably did. It's my thing to do. To be fair. I mean, we could just cut and I'll go squish it in the vice and then pretend like it never happened. <laughs> do you not cut in anything, mate? <laughs> you know my stance of cutting stuff. No, I mean, cut the video. Oh, cut, cut the, the video. video and I'll go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh, 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 there we go, it's on. <laughs> I have the power. The power of editing. Yeah. So yeah, maybe maybe you do have to. I don't know. We managed to get it in. Put it in a bit of a vice grip. Uh, that's all done now. And I've greased it up as we put it on. Just got to do the other side bush now. So we've done one side. Ugh. Get this bad boy out. Hang on. There we go. Take that out. And uh, this is going to be another fun one as well. That's really, really I think I've seen where you, I think you just put it down to the side and twack it. Yeah. That's going to be the easy solution. Sort of take it from there. Put that there. If you're getting the old one out, it's never a problem. It's getting the new one in. Well, I didn't. This time around, there'll be a lot more grease as well, don't it? Yeah. I'm guessing with this one, you have to use the middle, uh, or is it a bigger end? Is there more to it? Because it's quite a big hole. I just said, didn't it? How is that one? That one. That's a bit random, dude. I think, know what it is? No, no, you know, you see what, dude? I think it's, it's thinner in the middle. It's going to be a bugger to get it in, isn't it? Look at it. That's, yeah. that's thinner. Yeah, so this one's going to be another ch challenge to do as well. What I'm saying is, the bolt goes through there. Yeah. And the bolts are snug fit. So look at the hole difference. I oh, know you're quite right in it. It's actually the whole book is right. Yeah. Huh. 
Oh yeah. No, I see what you mean. Even the you know like the metal little grommets that he gave us. Yeah. No, that, that bush. Yeah, that's just, a lot of play, isn't it? I was gonna say the black bush is solid, and we're just better off just changing that one, and that will keep a bit more in place where it is shifting in it. Mm. What do you think of the metal grommets for? Then? I honestly don't know. To be honest. Because you reckon it's for that? Mm, where's the old one? What, the old bush? There it is, dude. Yeah, it's the same kind of thing. Same whole size? Looks to be. Just put the bolt in it. But it's quite loose. Well, we got the grommets in it. I don't know if that's what they're for or not, but we'll we'll check them out. We'll have a look. I mean, worst case, we might be able to take the old metal colours out of here mm. and reuse them. So that's the problem when doing stuff on this, isn't it? Um, it's always EK9, and I think maybe the EK9 has got bit, slightly different bits. So I'm gonna try that one. Try that grommet. Because it's not a lot of. Like it does fit. But there's going to be a lot of play in it. Play in it. Because it's obviously not very big. So we'll get the rate, we'll get the, um, them out of there and we'll slide them in. Oh. Because that would be the best thing. Yeah. For the next best thing. I don't know what they're for, to be quite honest. Must be something to do with that. Maybe. So I thought that maybe it's for the other side, but then, um. Oh, that's the other side. That's the best one. Just making sure that it definitely was the right side. Yeah. But even then, look, it doesn't doesn't crimp up to there very well. I don't know, dude. But how does it crimp on the other one? Like the original OG, flush in it. Like really flush. Well, this is a bit awkward, isn't it? Ah, uh, I mean, it's, there's there is a gap in there. We'll just try it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not exactly like loads of hard work. Shit it all right, how's it, how are you going to say next part is taking that bits apart, isn't it? It's not the worst thing in the world. So we'll get these out. They should just slide out and hammer them into there. It's actually a good thing they've got the shimmies in there, isn't it? Yeah. So otherwise it would have been really awkward. I'd put the old one back in. <laughs> so it should be. It might be a tight fit, but it should go in. We might have to use the vice to pop these in. The vice? Why? You just have, smack it with a hammer, isn't it? We can try. I'm just looking at how it is, isn't it? Like the design. Sure, yeah. Sometimes you can use the vice as a press so on it and just roll out. Oh yeah, obviously not true. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, job done. Yeah, that's why I've never understood you know, when people like chop up cars and stuff, and they just be like a lunatic with yeah. it. Sometimes it's better just be. Well, they work anyway, so we can we calculate about we can it. Work with that. I'm more annoyed about the other side of the bush, dude. You said this one's like, that's way too big, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's, it's, I don't see it fitting in there. Well, anyway. not even that, dude. Like, when you've done, done that, the whole... and then, like, even if you put the shimmy in, yeah, exactly. it's huge. I mean. But I, don't, I honestly don't think it would fit in there. Like, it just seems... No, I know dude. it's smaller in the middle. But even then, like I said, it's oversized. How would you, how would you push that? In? Yeah. You know I, mean? I think that was probably for EK9. They are probably both bo 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 it up. <laughs> Anyway, it's gonna be somewhat. It's gotta should be we, should we grease? No, I don't need to grease that side, innit? No, no. Yeah. Uh, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's what I know. Oh, yeah, I've got that bolt in my pocket as well. That gone in nicely, then? Yeah. Oh, obviously, that's the original, innit? 
Yeah. Find the 17 mil spanner. Um, over here, because I just wanted to go check the sump. Good one under there. 17. One on the other side. Uh, one, on, one on under here, I might as well just give it That's 16, 16, 16. Yeah. Should be there. I think it was in the bucket stuff we used yesterday. So that's 13. Oh, 17's it. Oh, there it is. So I just found that weird. That's we'll my, see. Like so I, I, made it, I, made, I made sure, like, I, you know, I like, cleaned it. And obviously. Today didn't even rain in the morning when I drove, so I was like, it's no. bone dry. It might, um, the, wa the washer might have, like, not sat fully straight or something along those lines, but either way, we'll wipe it off, and we'll, while it's in the air, we can run it and, like, keep an eye on it and see where it's at. It's from. But it could be excess, though. Yeah. Was well, any excess if we were shutting in it? Yeah. And that could be overleaked. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm going with me. So I'm just looking at the interior and it like <laughs> there's no centre console, no gear no gear lever. Line on the top of the hole. Yeah, it's just that hole there. I'm just looking at the gangster lead on the on the pat on the driver's seat. <laughs> what? The gangster lead on the driver's seat. It's insane. <laughs> okay. Alright, I got this one. This one, it's this one here, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. Oh. There you go. Yeah. 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 Just gonna look at the original. Well, to be fair, the original bush is not even that. Oh, it's a bit squishy compared to the other yeah, one. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's like having polybush and. Yeah. To be fair, it still looks in good nick. Yeah. And it goes with, with the rest of the car, innit? It, it's always. The whole car's been pretty. Well, yeah. Tidy and clean, and it all just works, so. Mm. Yeah. Good little car. But okay. Just looking at his size good. Yeah. It's a bit more of a baked on just dirt to be fair. Looking at that, it's not too bad, given the arches. A bit of surface first. Same thing with the front as well. Not actually that bad. I'm just gonna get a ramp on my drive. Mate, if you could have like <laughs> just got you know like the full electric one. <laughs> That way you can you, know, you can stack your cars in it. Yeah, exactly. Why has no one's ever made an outdoor lift? I've, I've used um, a mobile lift before in the garage that I used to work at. So there used to be a corner of the garage that they couldn't quite fit hmm. a normal ramp in. Um, so they bought a mobile lift and they just kind of used to use it to occasionally use what move cars in that corner and work hmm. on them quick. Especially when, like, in the garage that I worked, that the floor wasn't exactly like level. Oh right. So it always felt a little. No, bit I'm just in the sense, like, you know, we get the the air ones. Yeah. You just drive onto it, and it goes into oh, the middle yeah, of the yeah. car, and it goes. Whoosh. I want one of them, but um, you gotta get. Okay, the... but you can't like lie under it like this. Well, yeah, that's my next issue. You can't. It's only good. It's only good if you like detailing cars and stuff like that. Isn't it? Mm. Oh, you want me to hold it? I'm just looking at the level of grease that you've put on it. <laughs> Go through the top of there that we have to hold on to. Oh yeah. Yeah, they need to be dropped through so I can put the nut and wash them. Those ones don't fit. It needs to be the original ones. Oh, original bad boys. Okay, cool. So you just drop them through. Yeah, drop them in the hole. 
Cool. I'll drop them fruit. Cool. Drop, drop them both fruit. Cool. You might need to grab hold of one when I'm ready to fight them. Okay, uh, would you put that rice grip? <clears throat> cool. Oh, fuck. Just feels weird leaning into a car that's on jack stands. Which one are you going to do first? Oh, okay. Do you want me to hold the gearbox up thing? Yeah. Alright. Hang on, put that one, another one through, there we go. Yeah, holding it. Hang on, yeah. <laughs> me, me. No, I'll, I'll do Pengu in it. No, no. <laughs> yeah, hang on. Yeah, that's one starter, so it's really usable. Alright, I'm gonna push that. I'm gonna, yeah. Cool, I'll push that. Perfect, so we can start tightening everything up there. Right. Um, it should sort of like lock into the metal because it's like a square pattern. Yeah. Hang on. Never let it go. Go on. Cool, got it. Oops. Hang on, I've let this gun off the vice grip. Cool, go. And the battery's dying on the camera. back on we've greased it all up thing is just running the car at the moment so obviously when we were working on the car looking at the gear gear linkage did notice a bit of oil it was on the gearbox or the engine, engine oil slump I'm so sure. yeah so we've cleaned that off we're running the car for a while to see how it is obviously we've got the bracket in now um, take this tat put that down there for a sec I'll clean it up later and just put the car back together again um, the old centre console. Hang on, was this, does this have to go in first then? It, it doesn't have to. So okay. It just slides into the back of there. Okay. Alright, uh, I need to plug in the switch. Like an imbecile. As long as you don't put those screws in, it doesn't have to go. Oh, no, no, I've got to put the screws in. Yeah, I've got to use the nearer one. That's what I'm thinking, isn't it? So if I take that one out. Push down or push up? I think it comes towards you on the way out. Yeah. So. Cool. Yeah. That can go out and then that blanking plate. Go in there. Cool, and then if I do... 
I feel like we should have put take that out first, innit? Because it's yeah, plug that in first, and then we'll. Got it. What you might have to do is take that out, actually. Why well, don't take it? I put it in and and then put the wire through. Yeah. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Hang on. So why should be long enough? Okay, they're both both the same the same way. Did I fit it in before? Hang on. Mm. Hang on, unplug it. Take this out. sort of matches meanwhile at the Honda factory they've built 15 cars <laughs> yeah. I don't know it was probably never made to go there I think it has to be dude because there's a blank here as well and that's usually where I'd expect to see headlight adjusters so I don't want to wiggle around with this too much to start busting. Oh, there we go. Oh, right, okay. You say so. Took longer than he actually needed, but... Oh, wow. Well, I think that's fine. Okay. Next thing is going to be lining up them holes. We'll pop that in as well. So that we can get the backs lined up. The back needs to slide in, and then there's two screws. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah, you got to put the gear knob first, innit? Uh, cool. That's that done. Regal. Okay, a bit awkward now because I'm taking them clips. I've got to go into. And my, my buttons come on done. Brilliant. No, no, you're gonna ruin the wire in it. Take this. That has to go in. That has to go in first, isn't it? I'm just wondering, is that piece longer than the original? How the hell is that got stuck the way it is? As I say, I, I'm. It's unusual that they're not up here. That's, that's what I was expecting to see. It's a really funny place to have the light adjuster. I'd expect to see maybe the uh, sunroof there, the sunroof button, mm. and then that be the headlight adjuster. Mm. Oh, I've got to be a mechanical genius, basically. No, we'll just take it really slow. The wire's too short. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, as soon as that tension goes on, yeah, it pushes it through. I mean, it doesn't hold very well anyway. That's not the greatest. There's no part of me thinking, you know what, just get rid of it. Well, plug it in, set it to zero because that's where it should be. And plug it in so it goes back to the pits. What, plug it in? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh, so that's that's zero. Um, not ideal, but hey on. We'll have to extend it somehow. Yeah, well, that's the another But then, like I say, it's just weird. Like here, we're right by, you know, not far from where the headlight stalk is. And uh, most cars, they're here. Oh, no, dude. And then the sunroof, you know, remember I said to you the other week, I'm quite surprised the sunroof 
Switch is here. Yeah. I'd expect that to be here. Like we've okay, we'll, we got it. Set to zero anyway. Um, we'll just have to extend the wire one day. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I've just found the OBD port by accident. What down there? Uh, yeah, here. It's here. Oh, okay. It's definitely OBD. Is that OBD? Yeah, it's proper OBD. Oh, okay. Finalised up. Slightly run out of time today as well, so um, other bits we'll have to wait, wait till later on. Let's put the fixing screws in for the rear armrest now because that's it. Oh, see if it's, yeah, it could be some generic. I was going to say, does that even screw into anything? Yeah, they've got like uh, the top one. Did the top? No, there's no bracket in the top no. one. Also. It was just the bottom one. Bottom one, there's a screwdriver again, I can't remember. Uh, I don't know if you packed it away, did it? definitely gave it back to you. Oh, there it seems like. I'll just put it to there with the rest of your tools in it. Is it a rocket tool now? Or oh, yeah, that's in, man. That's in. Uh, look at that. Sweet. I could probably do with um, a slightly bigger buffer on the top of the Maybe at some point. Yeah, I was going to say, anyone not? Not base jumping anywhere anytime soon. I guess that wraps everything at the moment today, guys. Um, run out of time to do other stuff, but obviously the main thing, the gearbox short lift shifts is done. The centre console trays in, the armrests in. So that's all sort of sorted. Quite happy with that. Got a bit of extra cubby hole now. Um, shame about the, the light button wouldn't really work. I think well, making the life a bit easier in the car has been done. Basically, just done all the work on the center console too. All right, guys. See you like guys later. Give us give us a like, subscribe. So I'm still going to do what I normally do as well with mini stuff. Just at the moment, I got a bit bored with lockdown, so just working on this uh, Civic at the moment. All right, catch you later, guys. Bye.